the next one is the soaps and the detergents okay so as a day to day life we are using the soaps and the detergents so what is a soap basically so what is the detergent so soaps are the long chain sodium or the potassium salts of the carboxylic acids okay so sodium stearate stearate is nothing but that it contains the c c17 carbon atoms okay see for example uh, c18 carbon atoms that we call it as a stearic acid so c17 here one carbon atom so totally c18 carbon atoms present so c17 h35 coona so we have the sodium atom is present so we call it as sodium stearate so now this is the structure of the soap molecule so c17 means so like this we are drawing okay so c17 like this so this we call it as a so we have to write like this way ch3 ch2 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 so like this we have to write for up to the c17 so instead of writing like this we are just making a, a up and down arrow marks like this chains so it has the two parts so ch3 co na is having the two part the one is the long hydrocarbon chain it contains only the hydrocarbons there is a no more atoms or oxygen or sodium or nothing is present only the carbon and the hydrogen so long hydrocarbon part is present and the this is the hydrophobic okay what phobia means it's a fear hydro means water so the long hydrocarbon chain is having a it's a water repelling group repelling means it does not want to make a bond with the water that's why it's a hydrophobic but it is it can easily soluble in the oil the long chain hydrocarbon it is easily soluble in the oil but it is insoluble in the water so that's why we call it as hydrophobic and the grease so usually so why we are using the soaps and detergents because usually the oils and all will fall on our uh, uh, dresses so we will get the dirt over there so the dirt usually contains the oily substances so that oil substances we have to remove from the cloth so if you are applying the water it will not go so once you place the soap water or something immediately it will go because this long chain hydrocarbon is soluble in the oil or the grease so it will make the grease which is present in the our cloth it will make a soluble over there and it will try to remove it from the cloth so that is why in the soap we are using the long hydrocarbon chain okay the next one is the short ionic part okay where is the short ionic part is present this one so this one coo minus and na plus so why we are writing na plus because always the metals are having the positive charge the sodium is present in the group 1 so it's having a positive one charge so coo minus this is the counter ion for the coo minus and the na plus so this contains the ions minus plus so that's why we call it as a ionic part and this is the one which is a hydrophilic philic means it's liking it can able to attracting so this is hydro means water so this is the water attracting group see because if the soap if it fully contains the hydrocarbon chain it does not soluble in the water so we have to make the soluble in the water then only we can able to remove the grease so that is why we have given the short chain so this will dissolves in the water so the role of the coo na is making the soap to dissolves in the water that's why we are having a coo minus and the na plus the ionic part but at the same time that this part cannot able to remove the oil or the grease because it is insoluble now the cleansing action of the soap okay so now we are going to see how this uh, soap molecules uh, removing the dirt from the cloth when the soap is dissolved in the water it forms the spherical structures called the mesalase so see like this so so now we have added the 
in the water we have added the soap molecules so this is the long hydrocarbon chain and this is the coo minus and the na plus so like this it will form the spherical structure so this we call it as a mesolase so the long hydrocarbon chain and coo minus na plus so then in each mesolase the soap molecules are arranged radially such that the hydrocarbon hc means hydrocarbon part is towards the center see all the negative signs are the outside the hydrocarbon chains and all inside because why it's forming like this is suppose if the dirt is here if the dirt is here so all the hydrocarbons can able to remove the dirt from the cloth that is why all the hydrocarbon ch uh, chains are all facing towards that the center of the point so towards the center and the ionic part is towards the outside so the hydrocarbon part so what it will do so suppose if the so see here suppose the grease is over here all the hydrocarbons are trying to remove the grease from the grease from the cloth so one forms the emulsion at the center of the mesolase and can be so when we are rubbing the cloth using the soap water so using the this the hydrocarbons will remove the grease from the shirt and when we are washing it up everything will be going away from the shirt or something so the cloth will be free of the dirt or the grease so this hydrocarbon chain making the dirt soluble in that and it is removing from the cloth and that's making the cloth free from the dirt so here so this is the cleansing action of the soap so see here so it's forming the mesolase this we call it as a mesolase formation so all the hydrocarbon chains are focusing at the center all the ionic parts are at the towards the towards it it's just facing outside because its job is to just make the soap dissolves in the water that's all so now here water is there so now this is the dirt all the hydrocarbon chains it's just making soluble the dirt so all the uh, hydrocarbon chains and all making to remove the grease from the cloth and it's just removing so when we are adding the more water so the dirt will be moving from our cloth detergents so detergents so now till now we have seen the soap so what is a detergent so detergent are also the same thing long chain the sodium salts of sulfonic acid here some of the uh, atoms we have replaced it that's all so that makes the detergents so the soaps do not wash very well with the hot water okay what does mean by the hot water hot water means it contains the insoluble salts calcium 2 plus and the magnesium 2 plus ions will be present in the water that makes the water hot so we cannot able to uh, make the soap soluble in that because already the calcium magnesium salts are present so it will not allow the soap to dissolve so because it forms the insoluble precipitates of the calcium and magnesium salts in the hot water but the detergents are having a special group such as the sulfonic acids group so sulfonic acid the formula is so3h so this sulfonic acid is present in the detergents so this makes the detergent easily wash well with the hot water because it does not form any insoluble precipitates of the calcium and magnesium which is present in the hot water so this makes the difference so the sulfonic acid is present in the detergent that makes the detergent soluble in the water but that is absent in the soap that's why it's making a precipitate with the calcium and the magnesium so the next one is the differences between the soaps and the detergents so the soaps are nothing but the sodium salts of the fatty acids so the detergents are nothing but the sodium uh, salts of the sulfonic acids soaps clean well in the soft water but do not clean well in the hot water so we have to make the soap so much we have to waste it in the hot water but the detergents are not like that it will easily clean well with both hot and the soft water because of the presence of the sulfonic acids soaps do not clean 
as well as the deter uh, do not clean as well as the detergents but the detergents clean better than the soaps so the well, detergents are very good compared to that of the soaps soaps are biodegradable and do not cause pollution but the detergents are having a disadvantage over here some detergents are non biodegradable so what is mean by biodegradable biodegradable means so it's getting degradation for example so if you are using the bio means it's a microorganisms either the uh, what is that uh, um, bacteria or the fungi can easily decompose the particular compound that we call it as biodegradable non biodegradable means it persists in the earth more time say for example if the soaps can exist for 2 or 3 days but the detergents will exist for one year so if it's exist one year as in the same molecular formula it may react with some other compounds and it will lead to some other products so that's why we call it as a non biodegradable and definitely it will cause the pollutions to our earth